Hi, today I have a problem for you. This problem about applying rule of probability. And here is a problem. If two people who are both heterozygous for Huntington's disease and autosomal dominant trait marry, what is the probability that they will have three children, all of which are normal? So how we are going to approach this problem? We are going to build a Punnett square. So here would be parent 1 and parent 2 on this side. And we are told that this is uh, both uh, parents are heterozygous. So that means that we have capital A and small a here and capital A small a here also. And now we build our Punnett square and we can put capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, small a, capital A here, and small a, small a here. We also told that this is uh, autosomal dominant trait, and that means that um, all these three cases out of four, we will have uh, affected uh, person and only uh, here we will have an affected child so this give us one out of four possibility for the child to be an affected and uh, the question also is what is the probability for three children to be normal so for the first child as you see we have chances 1 of 4. For the second child we also have chances 1 of 4 because the first child and his health doesn't uh, affect uh, outcomes for the uh, probability for the second child. And uh, third child also have the same probability. So we have now to multiply all these chances and we are going to get 1 over 64 and if we divide this number, we are going to get 0, 0, 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. And we also can um, round it to 0, 0, 1, 6. And this gives us uh, answer D. You probably also may wonder what would happen uh, with this case when we have... Uh, homozygous dominant, uh, if uh, in heterozygous form this disease is very severe and wouldn't this lead to the death uh, or um, stillbirth or um, self-abortion. Uh, this is usually the case with the other diseases uh, of the autosomal dominant but not with the Huntington disease. Uh, this person just would be more severe affected and will show up this uh, disease earlier in his life. So that's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.